Hi everyone, welcome back to Pyre with Curly and Yan. I'm Yan, and with me is Curly. Hello there, I'm Curly. Yeah, as usual, Curly's playing. Um, we're about to go into a liberation riot, so I'm glad I'm not playing, because fuck, I would die. Yeah. Who, who are we planning on putting into this? Um, Hedwin, because we're definitely, we have to send Hedwin back. All right, we're sending him back so he can be with his girlfriend. We're going up against the essence, by the way. Yeah, so. That ought to be fun. The bird girls. Um, hey, guys, so, like, I don't know what's going on up there with all them stars all acting real weird and stuff, but let me tell you something here. You ain't gonna find a better deal on all this stuff from anybody, and I mean anybody in the downside. You can trust me when I tell you that, okay? So, go ahead, stock up. Okay, what, what we got here? Oh, mm. permanently grants one hope. Oh. Usable once. Ah, uh, man. We have all this stuff. We should probably use some of this stardust I have. See if I can mm -hmm. upgrade any of my things I got. Hmm. I don't really have anything I want to buy. I'm, we also don't have any money. Oh, wait. Hmm. We can trade this. There you go. We can have that. Yeah, eight bucks. Hmm. Some of these like things I should just sell. Grants plus for quickness. We haven't been using that anymore since everyone got their special talismans. Yeah. So I'll sell that one. What do we got here? Any of these actually something that we wanted? Um. Probably. Or did we want some more um, stardust? It depends on how much we can actually upgrade our people now. Because I don't want to lose another liberation rate. It's been a while since we've played. Curly and I have been having a hard time finding time where we like can both meet up on the computer. Yeah. So, I don't remember what happened last time, like, as far as people well, getting power-ups. I remember we got these special rings. Yeah, we got the special rings. The Bertrude got her, like, really powerful. Yeah, but you didn't give it to her. Did Isn't that not? it? The, the scales at the end? Isn't that it? On the, the last row. The last row. Oh, no. No, yeah, she got hers pierces through, but she got that one where, like, it, um... It heals us. Every time she gets points, it goes up to 50% back to us. Mm, that's right, we gave her that. Yeah. So, I mean, we could use this one that, like, shoots through walls with her. I just, I wish I knew what everything looked like. I... Right. I don't know. We don't know. <laughs> oh, tell all your friends about us, because I already told mine. Do you mean us? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm gonna look at the common room. So yeah, we got him. See, Bertrand has this one. After dousing the adversary's pyre, the pyre, the bear's pyre recovers. Equal mm -hmm. or equal to up to. All right. Yeah, and she's got like the double. It's... Oh yeah, she's always hitting thirty points if she if she does a glory dive. Mm -hmm. Wow, we're terrible people. Um, let's not die. Yeah. This is the part where I'm completely useless. I just sit here and go, go curly, go curly, or don't fuck up, don't fuck up, which does not help. All right. Once more, you have gained the fall of Solium, where one among you may go free, but first. You shall have to prevail against the essence in the liberation rite. Reader, your companions are gathered there under the fall. They shall be counting on you. Indeed, as the cycle of the rites turns ever faster, so, too, is our plan set in motion. My agents in the Commonwealth are beginning to cause a bit of a stir up there, and word has reached the high places that the rites are ending. This is our chance, though let us not despair, should victory elude us here. Don't try to make me feel better. We shall make the, make most of whatever the scribes may have in store for us. That is to say, good luck, my boy. It's time. Good luck. It's shinier than usual. Uh, Jesus look, this Christ. Dullness. Dullness the locket. Oh. <laughs> Plus five every time they 
Hell no. Maybe like on a second playthrough I'll try doing some of those for like achievements, but nope. Mm -mm. That's not in this one. Not here! Right. Everything's completely pronounced randomly, but we don't even know. Little Little Clove. That's. He's gonna say that one day, and it's gonna, I'm gonna be right the whole time. Yep, the whole time. Would you stop it, Brighton? Not throwing away my shout. Alright. Come on, Hamilton. Let's do this. Let's go, Hedwin. The pyres burn, and each of the triumvirates is present and prepared. I concur. The pyres burn, and each of the triumvirates is present and prepared. Then, anointed one of the essence, come forth now and declare yourself, and pay any respects you have unto your adversaries the Nightwings. Tamitha swoops down from somewhere and unfastens her mask. I am known as Tamitha Thane. I mean to return to my ancestral home and promptly resume my responsibilities as flight tactician there, upon the high wing remnants. Fucking added words, but it worked. <laughs> Our long stalemate against the Commonwealth shall soon be ended, should I and several of my sisters manage to rejoin our clan. Then, our vengeance shall be swift and thorough. Your quarrel with the country that has cast you into exile is beneath the notice of the scribes, Tamitha Thane. Here you shall be judged under the stars. My quarrel with the Commonwealth is all that gave me and my sisters strength enough to reach this point. The scribes are ought well take heed of how my people suffer. We are not weaklings any more. Like your Triesta Tithus. We shall not fall in line with flightless fools and their naked attempts to subsu subsume our heritage, our culture. Speak not again thus of the saint, or you shall be expelled, Tamitha Thane. Tamitha scoffs, then turns her attention toward your side. And Nightwings, as for you... The fury we shall imminently show is nothing in the comparison to, uh, is nothing in comparison to the hatred growing for your commonwealth in the mountains on the other side. Have you not realized we don't like the commonwealth either? We're all trying to fix it. Why are you such a bitch all the time? She signals to her sisters to ready themselves. You seek your freedom, but there shall be nothing save for devastation should you manage to return. All right. Bitch. Ash and coal, plus 25 to their pyre. Yep. Nightwings, your decision. On whose behalf shall you conduct this liberation rite? Reader, I would ask you to choose wisely, but I am sure you know no other way. Thanks for the confidence boost. And you, prepare your song, Tariq. Of course, Celeste. So they're legitimately singing while we're doing this. Yeah. I just put that together. I'm over here not knowing what's going on. All right. And scared to death. Ooh. Anoint headwind. Oh, yeah, I not. <sighs> yeah. Ash and coal, plus 25 to their pyre. We'll get rid of that pretty quickly. <sighs> okay, 10% faster, and they have the same thing. All right. <sighs> hit him hard, hit him fast. Hit him with a headwind. Headwind, you're in. Edwin. Another chance at freedom? Uh, hopefully not to be dashed. Oh, then maybe this time? I fucking hope so, Faye. Okay, and Bertrude. Bertrude. <laughs> we shall ensure his passage from this place. Then let's ensure it. One final obstacle to overcome ere I can soar again above your commonwealth. Such destruction I shall reign upon it. Soon. But first, oh, let shit. us dance this final time. It's okay, I read it. She's gonna be pissed that, that Pameth is not out here. Fucking win and shit! Ah! 
Huh. Dark, dark, fucking, huh. You're in a pair of a fucking, huh. mm. I don't know. Damn fucking. it. Shit. I'm rooting for you. As the Liberation Rite continues, you sense Pamitha reaching out to you, or perhaps just reaching out to anyone at all. Reader, someone, please. Let her prevail. Let her prevail, please. Let her prevail here this once. If this thought makes me a traitor, so be it. But please let Tamitha prevail, for she is here wrapped up in all this because of me. No, she's not going to learn anything if we let her out. We're going to change the Commonwealth. You have to understand that by now. The plea trails off, and Pamitha remains steadfast, all her attention focused on the Liberation Rite. And as for Pam as for Tamitha... Uh, prepare yourselves, Nightwings. And as for you, Pamitha, I await the outcome of this night, for it shall soon ensure that I may never have to see your smirking countenance again. She's not going to learn anything if we just let her go back. I'm so... Uh... On it. Fuck. Mm -hmm. Alright, hang on. I'm this. rooting, I'm rooting, I'm rooting, I'm rooting, I'm rooting. Fucking Fuck. birds. I hate these birds. Fuck! I'm sorry. Birds, I'm sorry, everyone. Okay, the birds are fucking cheaters. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Look, either we end up sending Hedwin back to his girlfriend, or fucking Pamitha's happy that her bitch of a sister got to go home. To be an ass. It's all she's gonna do when she gets home. Yes. How many did you get? 55. Ah. Ah, fly, I got the joke. Okay. Alright, we're even. Hark now, my sisters! Damn what that book says! Advance to strike formation! Prevail here against these wretches, no matter the cost! In discard for the ways of the rights, Tamitha Thane has ordered her triumvirate to push further afield, adopting an even more aggressive stance for the remainder of this right. All right, we'll just jump over you, bitches. Fuck. They're this? birds. <laughs> we'll just jump over you. They can fly. Yeah, I know. <sighs> Fuck you. That didn't take anybody out. Oh, good. Ah. Oh man. Huh. Huh. <sighs> huh. <sighs> Edwin. Nice one, Hardwin. I believe in you, or at least in the fact that this game will. <sighs> then we have to be aggressive too. It doesn't matter. Fuck. They're birds. That's not even fair. We can jump at them. That's the point. They taught me that before. It's just. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Whatever, you know what? I just want to finish this game at this point. I know, I'm just getting mad now. The exile appointed by the essence shall be free. Absolved of all misdeeds. I mean, I could practice. I could actually go and practice these rites before anything. I can go and practice on stuff. But I don't care. <sighs> All right, hurry up and go through this stupid yeah, thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here she comes. She's gonna talk some bullshit. <sighs> I'm sorry. We did what we could, my friends. I couldn't ask for more. No, I just suck at this game. Commonwealth fools. No, we're gonna get the but bad ending. You know that. I don't give a shit. How fitting that traditions such as this should spring forth from a culture such as yours. 
They ought to have put me to the sword, but no. They, in their arrogance and in their smug superiority, deigned reason that those such as I ought to be exiled instead. Here, then, we would live in penitence and learn the error of our ways. She laughs for once, though not in joy. Such an utter nonsense. And now they shall receive me open-armed, a champion forged by their precious system. Yet, I shall use every waking breath to bring them all to ruin. You know what? Go ahead. I don't like the Commonwealth either. We could have been on the same side, you bitch! She turns to her fellow sisters of the essence and regards them with respect. Sisters, we may not be bound by blood, but ours is a stronger bond even than that. We may soar together in the stars some day. May we. And I swear to you, the High Wing remnants shall survive. You know, we were never trying to kill you. <sighs> Farewell, my sisters. Get out of here. A moment later, she is gone, engulfed within the waters of the Shimmer Pool. Yet you hear her voice reverberate for one last time, something bitchy at Pamitha. Oh, yay. Farewell, sisters. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Except this, for it is done. We don't like the Commonwealth either! Why is everyone so fucking blinded by their own self-righteous needs? People in this game are making me mad. What do you uh, want, bitch? Tamitha. I knew full well I never could get back the years you spent in exile, and I knew I never could regain your trust. But maybe now. Maybe now at least I can start to live with myself again. Yeah, if I... <laughs> Hedwin's in love with a friend of yours, don't you root for him too? Though, how absurd. I might have doomed the Commonwealth, the High, Ring, High Wing Remnants, and Tamitha alike this night, and yet, once more, all I can think of is myself. Yeah, why did we bring you on again? I need a drink. Let's all get smashed. Greed. I'm sorry. No one's gonna it's watch okay. this anymore. It's okay! It's okay! It's fucking, you know what, uh, fucking flip all the tables you need to, it's done. After the liberation, right? You find Pamitha drinking alone. Everyone else seems to be off doing something equally equivalent. Ugh. You are about to leave her be when she looks up at you. Shut up. <laughs> That's that then, Rita darling. Mission accomplished. No! Is that what you wish to hear? That my loyalties have all this time rested with Tamitha? No! No one cares about you and your cleavage! You know that it's not that simple. Besides, I think I've made plain my intentions from the start. I'm here because of her. She looks up at you then. But I'm still here because of you. She pauses again for a time. I don't know the reasons why we failed that liberation right. Were the essence were the essence simply superior to us, perhaps? But I do not wish to know. They were birds. They flew over us. Yeah, we have to jump, though. I fucked that up. <sighs> I'm the one who screwed up. God, you're basically headwind. <laughs> it's all my fault. Shut up. No. And no. as you can probably detect here, darling, I feel no joy in this outcome. But I feel as though a part of it, a part of me was liberated there along with Tamitha. So, and I realize this may make little sense right now, but thanks, if nothing else, for being there to help me see this through. She then gestures toward you with her bottle. Drink with her. Decline the offer. I don't even know. Well, I'd want to get drunk. Yeah, you're right. You accept the bottle, and the two of you drink in silence for a time. Nothing more needs to be said. 
As the hour grows very late, you excuse yourself and leave her to her thoughts. If Pamitha ever was conflicted in her intentions, you sense that now she is fully committed to the group. She has nothing else to strive for. We have but a few such liberation rights remaining. Exactly how many, I do not wish to speculate about as yet, until such time as we can better save the certain. And there are no circumstances would I suggest this, this is ideal. However, it is an opportunity enough that our plan may, may as yet succeed. Although, all these setbacks, I fear. Volfred trails off and falls silent. Don't think we haven't noticed, Volfred. Some of the others exchange looks. They are beginning to understand. With the rites soon ending, everything which Volfred has sought, both on his own for many years and now with all of you, all of it might have been in vain. The hush spreads to the others. But not to you. You then proceed to do something that none of them seem to expect. You raise your voice. Each of your fellow exiles turns to you, their expressions asking you a question with no easy answer. What are we going to do? As you meet Bertrude's gaze, the words for the occasion begin to crystallize in your mind. You are searching for the right words as your fellow exiles are looking to you now. Oh, wait. Uh, interact to, wait, interact to gather your thoughts, or interact. to consider a different angle on this. This isn't, I don't even understand. That doesn't make sense to me. Um. So this is like, figure out a different, like, the third <sighs> option. I, as I love third options, but I don't think any of them are good here. I think fucking Tamitha broke the rules. She wasn't supposed to assume an offensive position. Fucking cheater. I don't want to change the rules and be a bitch. I'd rather- I would rather die well. Um, you tell them that you have all stood together time after time throughout this quest and are now poised to seize upon a glorious opportunity. What are my options? You there are just, two options. I guess I we could just speak our mind. We can just say that. You have always chosen your words with care or... It's the same thing. Interact. Interact can. Uh, which one do you want to put differently? Um, oh, okay. I, oh, you get to choose like lines for this. Yeah. Dude, I am so into it, but so lost. Okay, I see. Oh. So can, oh, okay. Because now each. Oh, well, when you go that fast. <laughs> You tell them you don't want to mince words with anyone here, as that would be a great disservice to the group. You tell them that you have all struggled to come this far across the downside, through many challenges which you have faced, only to reach this low point in your journey. No, don't bring everyone down. Though many cha uh, Through the many challenges you have faced. Are those your two options? Yeah. For that one? Okay, so what's the other ones? Yeah, stay together in this quest. I cease to quest. And think only a hollow fool would turn back now. Uh, are now poised to seize upon a glorious opportunity. I, I'm I scared like those... to know what you think a glorious opportunity is. I feel like whatever. You go for it. Your path to freedom is still laid bare before you all. True freedom is not waiting for you in the Commonwealth. Ooh. The path is difficult enough without the added burden of despair. Okay. No. None of you pursue this quest with any guarantees. It is a quest you all knew was unlikely to end well. Or, one cannot assume that it would have had- No, neither of those are good plans. Try and keep as upbeat as you can. It is clear now that all of you are going to return. What? No, that not all of you are going to return. Surely this has weighed heavily on everyone. Each of you knew this outcome was a possibility. Yeah. I don't like any of these. Your path to freedom is- still is laid bare before you all true freedom is not waiting for you in the commonwealth yeah. or the path That's is difficult a... okay I, I like which one do you like i this one path is difficult enough to... no i like i actually like the uh true freedom is not awaiting you in the commonwealth but i'm i don't see why i mean the humans are going to turn to demons out here but it's like are we not living well out here 
I mean, for those of us who you have to one? stay, Bertrude has a fucking career out here. Oh. Meanwhile, the stars themselves are shining on for you. All of what transpired cannot be mere chance. You all have, you all now have a divine duty to uphold. So we just, what, what we're saying is we basically just go on being the Nightwings. Well, yeah, we don't have to win. We just have to do what we must. The Commonwealth is already in upheaval. There, you have unfinished business to conduct. You have to resist the forces that... Ugh. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you have to resist the forces that will cr cr that would That's... crush you. Oh, is it? Okay. It's, the same, it's the same thing. It's just three sentences okay, now. The troubles are only beginning. Um, God, this is a lot of thought process. Okay. There, you have unfinished business to conduct. Same, same ones. Uh, um, and then let's see what the third one is. The Just... injustice is committed on the other side cannot continue. Um, yeah, but that doesn't help to say we've already we've already said, hey, we might not be going back. Those can't continue. But maybe someone else will figure it. I don't know. The divine the divine duty. <laughs> Alright, let's see this third. But something far more vital is at stake. You see the imminent conclusions of the right as a sign. It is a sign that the world is changing. The disappearance of the stars above can be no accident. It is a sign that the world is changing. It is a sign that the scribes are watching. Hmm. Far more vital is at stake. Maybe the stars themselves are shining for you. All of what transpired cannot be mere chance. You all have a divine duty to uphold. That's completely changed. That used to be at the beginning of the sentence. I'm so lost now. They would spur you to go on to greater feats. Okay, that's that one, and then the fine jury to pull glory awaits. Glory if awaits if you can persevere together. Um. Meanwhile, the stars themselves are shining for you. The Commonwealth is already in upheaval. So we have that one. Something, Something far more vital is at stake. Or. Meanwhile, the stars themselves are shining on for you. All right, we gotta figure this out. All of what transpired cannot be mere accident. Um. Mm. That one. I just want to make sure it's ending with we all have we all now have a divine duty to uphold, because it's true we can. This is the closest thing to freedom we're gonna get. Right. Just because it's not back home doesn't mean it's not real. Meanwhile, the stars are shining for you. All, right. all of what's transpired cannot be mere chance. They would spur you on to greater feats. Maybe that one. All right. I like that one. You all stand poised to ensure the world you leave behind for your loved ones, for each other, is a world worth living in. Jesus. Now is the time to stand and fight for the forces that oppose you, for each other, for those who live on oppressed. Shit! Like, we can't, like... For your people, for each other. I think for each other is the best one in that one. Yeah. For those who live oppressed. For those who do not fight, do not prevail. Well, uh. Oh man. No, for for those who live oppressed. Um, yeah, I like for to fight for each other, to fight for those who live oppressed, because that covers all your bases. Um, and what's what are our other options for the first part of the sentence? Now is the time to stand and fight the forces that oppose you. You now have this opportunity to live with purpose. For your, for everyone's sake, for your people, for each other, for those. For who, each other. Okay. Oh, for yours is a righteous cause. Uh, I hate yeah. righteousness. I hate nothing more than righteousness. You all stand poised to ensure that the world you leave behind for your loved ones, for each other, is a world worth living in. What's the last option for, for this one? Is a world worthy of homecoming. Ooh. Uh, I kind of <sighs> like that one. Okay, that's... Gotta fight the forces. I don't like that one because we're we're doing divine work here. The only forces that oppose us are out of our reach. All right, so let's pick something. You stand poised to ensure that the world you leave behind for your loved ones, for each other, is a world worth living in, or is a world worthy of homecoming. I'm not sure which is better. I don't know anymore. Okay. Okay. No, no, go with it. <laughs> we did something. <laughs> Sorry, I did not. Shit! Really... I did not know what. I did. I didn't realize it was. Mm. I'm sorry. That was not what we wanted to say. I'm sorry. Jesus 
Christ, Curly, that was delicate! Well... It's like you're holding a fucking glass beaker of explosives and you're like, I'm gonna press X! <laughs> I don't know I need to press anything! Don't flip the table with the chemicals! Flip the table that doesn't have the chemicals! I was don't... trying to switch it! I'm sorry, it's like... I don't know what we just did and now I'm really, really nervous! Eh, whatever. We did something. Oh my god! You know what? You can handle the rest of this yourself. I have to get dressed. No! Please don't leave me! Please, don't leave me. Dude. I need you right that now. That was probably really... really important, and I think you picked one I didn't like. Well, too bad. You probably didn't like any of them. No, Please. I liked the one that you were about to click before you're like, I'm just going to click them randomly. You started clicking them really fast. Why would you do that when I was like, hey, I like this one. This one that you're, sounds you're really good. You're still no, on. No. No, I said, what's the last I'm option sorry. on this one? And you started changing everything. I'm sorry. Move. I know it's I'm wasting time, sorry. but Jesus. No, no, stop no. with the fake said. I'm not no. here for the fake said. No, no. I don't feel bad. I know, I know it feels mm. like it's wasting time. I know it feels like it's wasting time, but if you take slow, deliberate choices. I know, I didn't mean to. I was just kind of, I was gonna go back to it. I didn't think it was just gonna skip over when why, I did that. Why, That's why. why, why, why. Cause I was just like- Why did, hey, why did you change it in the first place? Because yeah, I was I was bored, okay? I was waiting for oh you to make God, a decision. Oh my God, you already set on what we were gonna take and you chose something else. <laughs> no, I didn't mean to. We were already set. Okay, we okay, take. let's just, uh, we, we okay, I made that mistake. Fine. Let's just keep, keep going. going. Now I'm scared that we've made the wrong decision. <laughs> Jesus, don't do that again! Don't do that again! <sighs> ah! If you can believe any of this, then believe above all in, all in each other. Believe that the plan may yet be achieved. If you cannot see the merit of this quest, then you are unfit to stand among the Nightwings. You oh, are unfit right. to stand upon the sacred mountain. No. When you look at it that way, which, Which we don't know the... what it is. We don't know what that way is. I'm mad. Which side of the world you end up is up to you. To each one of you in your own in your own way. Okay. Trust what your heart is telling you. Believe that above in each other. That we may trust that we may yet prevail together. You have always chosen your words carefully. Click, 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 click. Whoops. <laughs> oh, shit. If you cannot see the merit in this quest and you're unfit, then you are unworthy of the raiment and the bucks. No, none of those are good. Don't yeah. be mean. What you probably said before was probably the mean option. We look at that Go way. With what's nicest to balance out the mistake we just made. Okay, well, then that would be like one of the first ones. Believe in this. Go with it. Believe in I'm each not other. even reading anymore, the... Curly. My face is in the sheets. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just that we may yet prevail together. Great. Sounds great. After a brief period of reflection, you share one last sentiment with the group. Let us stand together, now and always. Or, mere distance cannot separate our spirits. The stars have, have not vanished. They have joined us. That doesn't make any sense. Let us bring about harmony envisioned by the eight scribes. Then you join the others in silence. The people of the Commonwealth need us as we need each other. Let us stand together now and always. Mere distance cannot separate our spirits. The stars have not vanished. They have joined us. That sounds really inspirational, but I don't know what it means. I know. Let us bring about harmony envisioned by the eight scribes. I feel like that one's the best one. That's a nice thought. All right. I'm, I'm sure uh, Faye would like that one. The, yeah. Thus, thus, this is my job. Now that we're not making choices, well, uh, now is my time. I to thought you were getting all angry, so I was gonna take over. No, no, I have removed my face from the blankets now that I am done living in shame. Thus, do you remain together with your thoughts? No one speaks for a time, but then. Damn right, my friend. We've stood <laughs> together time after time, and I'll be right there with you till the end, no matter where we end up. Yes. You see them too, then, mister? The scribes, among the stars? How they are watching over us! May long the stars remain a light for you, reader, sir. We got his eyes all glowy. All the while, Volford remains watching you intently. Then his expression softens and he smiles. <laughs> You're right, 
of course, my boy. We are the Nightwings. We, it is precisely as you said. Let us bring about harmony envisioned by the eight scribes. Yeah, dude, there's us, no such thing as a bad ending. We just have to make the choice to make the oh, best of sorry. it. Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> fucking let me speak, because it'll cut me up if you're talking. Right. I always come in second. I was saying there's no such thing as a bad end. You just make the best of whatever you get, and we're going to keep doing that. Go. Lead us, then, reader, to the end of our quest and the dawn of a new age for all our kin. Everyone, for the Nightwings! For the Nightwings! Everyone responds in Huzzah. They stand with you, no matter what. They await the outcome of your vision of the stars, which burn with renewed fury, because now, at the last rites beckon. Let us bring about honor. Harmony, sure, whatever. I can't, I'm just, I'm dying on the inside. The stars above now burn with what appears a desperate fury, many more of them than usual. Look upon them all. What are we doing here? I have no idea. <laughs> Hawoop, Jomir, Leith. Who's gonna open up all the stars? Orez, Kaelmir. The stars of the eight scribes. They now they shine together now as one. The lone minstrel draws breath, as though surprised by what he sees. He backs away and averts his eyes. This is another sign the rites are soon to cease. Few chances yet remain to confront the adversaries you have met during your journey. Now we have to make a choice and then end the episode and then Yeah, who are we going up against? Uh, yeah. He's always easy to beat. Yeah, I kind of want to just go against him. You make the choice, reader, sir. Everyone else has kind of been... Harder to deal with. Your next adversaries are to be the accusers, led by one called Lendo, whom I believe you first met many moons ago. His is a tale I hope shall be forgotten. He then tells you what he knows of your next adversary. Jesus, give me a fucking save point. I am <laughs> nope. not emotionally prepared for- I'm rolling! I'm rolling! I'm rolling! I'm- I'm done. I've completed one full circulation. Do you want- Do you want me to uh, take over? No! Me? No, you shut up and you let me read! Lendel the Liar, the first adversary you confronted in the rites, not long after you took your first steps on the path of freedom. Next! A former constable of the Commonwealth, he gained a reputation for his strict and brutal manner. By any means, he always caught the crook. Once he arrested a civilian who hated him on suspicions, of theft of Commonwealth artifacts that had gone missing. Lendell discovered the artifacts himself in the civilian's home. The suspect was soon exiled. Still, he denies, denied the charges even as they cast him down river. The case was investigated further, though too late. Suspicions turned to Lendell. It turned out he planted the damning evidence himself, so he was exiled in turn. In the downside, he soon became acquainted with the rights, having heard of all of this from several people in high places. He asserted himself as the de facto leader of the accusers. They bent on his oh, they bent his aggressive nature and prevailed many times under his watch. Yet each time his chance at liberty arose, the Nightwings either defeated him or simply did not show. <laughs> at any rate, Lendell shall be looking forward to our arrival, I expect. We may resume our journey come daybreak, but in the meantime, I would advise taking what rest you can. Yes, please. Let's rest. You bid the lone minstrel a good evening. At dawn, you shall take flight again. Save! Save! Okay, okay thank you good everyone for watching. Good night, everyone. Goodbye. Go to bed. We all need it. Bye. Bye.